everybody. Tune in to Turn Fit. Welcome. Um, this is our first in the flesh edition of the uh, the show. So yeah, so we're 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 getting used to things instead of staring at a a screen. We have to kind of like pay attention to each other here. I guess. Yeah, and then now my dog is just like super wound up. Yeah, let's put the coffee down here. Hey, 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 hey. He's not used to people coming over. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're, I'm doing my best Joe Rogan impersonation with the brick wall, Love Amazon, it. 30 bucks times five. There we go. Worked out pretty good. Yeah, but yeah, here we are with uh, no, uh, or less restrictions being lifted, so. Yeah, yeah we're in phase one, phase two? Yeah. I don't remember, phase but. Three. Almost phase three. Almost so phase, phase three, three. Yeah. yeah. So they're allowing a little bit more contact. Um, I'm still pretty much just staying in contact with like, really you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. yeah, I was super funny. Like the first time I saw you, well, I mean, it didn't feel like I hadn't seen you, yeah. uh, just because of the podcast and all our Zoom calls or whatnot. And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I haven't seen you in like ten fucking weeks. Yeah, it's been like right? ten weeks, and it felt like so, so odd. Like we talk every day, plus the podcast. Yeah, right. Um, Were you like allergic to sunlight? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. It's basically like, oh, what do I do? Like. <laughs> It's like this awkward, do we fist bump, shake hands, high five, hug, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so for people that don't know in the world, gyms are opening back up. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. thanks for everyone for tuning in. Uh, I guess yeah, that's one of the topics we're gonna talk about today. It's, uh, um, I guess some some gyms in, in BC, have, uh, I guess the big gyms were pushed out of phase three into phase two. And then, um, you know, one of our main components is uh, in-person training uh, boutique studio style so we are part of phase two and yeah it's been interesting to see it's been wicked so far for results you can tell everybody misses their workouts yeah it's been good yeah the response has been uh, I think that was one thing I was um for everyone listening was just seeing the response I, anyone listening was looking to get into training or has a trainer and, and maybe skeptical from what I observe it's been a pretty decent setup uh, you know the few spots I've been at um, you know, there's everyone's maintaining social distancing. All the protocols are in place, so it's been pretty good. So I'd say for anyone who's listening, who's thinking about uh, jumping into personal training, whether it's with uh, TurnFit personal trainers, the current trainer, or a new trainer or whatnot, I'd say like, you know, like the it's it's been pretty safe. I'd say it'd be no worse than going to the grocery store. Probably I more. think the grocery store would be honestly worse because <laughs> yeah. like people don't listen there. At least the wicked part at like the studios. Well, you can get kicked out. Like yeah. you just get kicked out, and you're not welcome back. So, and the studios don't want to get shut down. Yeah. Well, people don't follow the fucking arrows. I yeah. didn't even know the arrow system too. Like the whole like yeah. zigzaggy thing. And then I was trying to buy like a bag of rice and Filipino. So it's like, you know, my life force. And uh, yeah, I almost had to get in this like thing with this lady about <laughs> going the wrong direction. Yeah. The, the the stores. Yeah, I'd say your chances of getting sick at the stores are probably the 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 greatest. I think because most people seem to like break all the rules for some reason. At least the ones that I go to. Same thing. They're walking towards me when the arrow's pointing that way. Yeah, I don't know, man. Every fucking day there's just something different and new, right? Like, they just, you know, now wear a bandana, don't wear a bandana, wear a mask, like, don't wear a mask. Some gyms are calling to, like, wear a mask while you work out. I'm like, I'm not a UFC fighter, and um, that's kind of a tacky-looking mask on top of it. I mean, if I'm going to work, I mean, you know, I just... <laughs> you want a fa He's waiting for his fashion ones. Oh, well, it's Vancouver. It's not so much about working out. It's also how you look while you work out, too, right? Basically. So, so. <laughs> so uh, I did order a leopard print and tiger print mask off Revolve. So I'm waiting for that uh, those suckers to come in. Nice. And we'll match my thongs. <laughs> I ordered a mask, but it's actually smaller. than Like, it just barely covers my fa face. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, phase three is coming up soon. So uh, anyone who's not informed, who is a gym member, looking to get back in the gym, um, you know, we're... I mean, most gyms have been putting it out there, but from what we see, you know, most gyms have the same standard protocols. You have to book ahead of time. Um, all staff has to wear masks. Um, <laughs> hey, Bubba. Sorry when my dog's going there. Hey, get over here. Get over here. So, um, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Like, a studio is one thing, but, like, a big gym in terms of enforcing rules and that sort of stuff, too. So anyone is, you know, considering going going um, back to the commercial club may have questions. You know, we're always here to help out, too, so reach out to us at... Um, www.turnfit.ca uh, but anyways yeah so that's gonna be interesting I know you're a member of yeah I'm Gold's. a member of Gold's gym yeah what's their what's their protocol what's going on there so the protocol currently there's mul there's like four or five different phases that they're gonna try and experiment with because it is kind of an experiment with everywhere um, so currently 
Uh, you have to book ahead three days in advance for your appointment. If you miss it, I think it's like a $10, maybe $20 late fee. Um, and oh, like a charge? Yeah, charge. Okay. So you can cancel two hours in advance, which is actually pretty good. Uh, yeah. Like you'll, you should know if you're going to not make it for your workout two hours ahead of time. Yeah. So that is nice. Um, no classes. Uh, it's highly suggested to wear a mask. Um, everything's spaced out different. There's probably, I haven't been there. I think the first time will be Monday. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, the booking system was pretty easy for me, but okay. it's very limited. Like you can see how many spots are are there. So. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. and, and yeah, well, I'm a member of two gyms. So uh, <laughs> yeah. for people who may be listening, not like just in Vancouver, um, but I guess anywhere in the world, uh, who is familiar with uh, the gym, I'm, the main gym I go to. It's a big luxury brand gym called Equinox. And yeah, I mean, from what I saw, they actually like I was thinking about canceling. I'm still like up in the air. They they offered the opportunity of, like an extended freeze up to the end of June, and just with our circum our, our business circumstances, I probably won't be able to go back to like June 15th. But it was good to see. Like you know, I mean, they're always like a cleaner club in a sense. Like they have like a dedicated trainer who's um, on the floor should be cleaning up yeah. um you know and it's like it's it's tailored to like the one person so you know I'm, I'm sure they you know they wipe their ass different than most other people um so yeah and they have their protocols it was good i know like one thing that's definitely like keeping me interested in staying is they are allowing like number one's close to like our other studio which i i train out of but they um offer 90 minute sessions i know some of the other gyms are yeah. only offering like yeah, ours is a one an hour and fifteen. Like what the goals? fuck? Yeah. What the fuck are you gonna do in like like I mean like yeah for like most normal people sure but then there's like you know a lot of people especially we live in a well, healthy city. We do city. like three hour workouts. Yeah, sometimes. we we live well, yeah we live in a healthy city. You know I, I observe there's a lot of fit people here and you know I observe a lot of people you know going to the gym for like two hours yeah. three hours sometimes too right at the end of the day if you're doing like a straight training workout yeah. it's forty five minutes you know mobility and warm up yeah. and all that sort of stuff if you're doing it right and the fitter you are. The more you have to do it, yeah. uh, the more complex it becomes. Yeah. Um, you know, that's maybe fifteen or twenty. So like you're, you know, left with like a few minutes for bathroom breaks and that sort of stuff, and, and maybe a bit of cardio. So like ninety minutes is, is okay. So I'm like, you know, do I do I bring my jump rope? Do I jump up outside? Do I yeah. Like, so that's that's the part that I'm thinking. Of do some well. burpees by the door until you let me in. Like, I don't know. So like yeah, your warm up and everything. And, and I'm I am that jerk that. Uh, does all my actual work work in the gym. So I treat it as my whole like kind of work process. So I might be on the treadmill or cardio equipment for a couple hours. Yeah. Mindlessly answering emails and stuff like that. And then I'll be on like different equipment. So I will have to get it in and out fast. So yeah. that, that will be a good point. Do you think a lot of people will be canceling? Uh, I think lots of people already are canceling. Um, yeah, because people really like have the opportunity of rediscovering things. I mean, like again, like anyone's watching at home, like, you know, the fitness industry is like, what, $20 billion industry, same with nutrition, everyone comes with like, you know, your new your new tie ball, or your new Botox, your new blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, it's all the same shit. It's like, eat right, move well, yeah. you know, that sort of stuff too. So I think people are really just uh, um, finding, or afforded the opportunity of rediscovering some of those things they may have not been aware of, or maybe lost yeah. sight of, or whatever. Like, you know, I got my jump rope. Equinox actually sells the jump rope, the, the cross rope. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's like one of the, Anyway, so like, yeah, so jump rope and boxing, and, you know, boxing's a big trend, but yeah, man, like, so yeah. I can just see, like, especially here, yeah. you know, like, most people tend to fuck off during the summer. I'm very cussy today, so. And, and the but, most uh, people love classes, and that's the one that's impacted the biggest with most facilities. I don't, like, there's no classes currently at the gym goals, um, but there will be eventually. And I know lots of people like to kind of do their kind of, own workout and then do a yoga or their own workout yeah. and a spin. Um, so most people are canceling because of that and they're just buying their own home equipment like you said. No, for sure. Right? Yeah, I know like I think the gyms, most gym class protocols would be like 18, over 18 people I think. Yeah. I know the gym floor, like it's cool with Equinox and the app is when you book it tells you how many spots are left. Yeah. So it actually tells you only 18 people are on the gym floor. Yeah. With that being said, there are like I think probably 30 plus trainers, so then the trainers will only be there if they have a client. So you're probably looking at probably like 30, yeah. 30, 40 people on the floor. So I think they're just really telling up those numbers. And It'll be super interesting because you know what, actually a lot, some people might actually that hated the gym in the aspect that there's so many people in there. Yes. Those people might now like the gym membership option because the people that don't like dealing with other people or watching other people. If there's only 50 people and there used to be a 250 people or something like that in that hour, yeah. 
maybe they might enjoy it. I don't know. Well, I think it was like I think it was episode was it episode four or five? Everyone can try to listen to both. I can't remember the reference, but I remember. Yeah, like, you tell us which one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the motivating factors. Me, I just like I like to watch good looking women while they work out, or yeah. like even like a buffer dude. I want to like oh, mentally like try to outdo him on that guy, right? So like. I gotta find out what's like the power hour for like 18 hot chicks to be working on Equinox, <laughs> right? I don't want to end up getting like the all dudes hour. Yeah, for people listening again, yeah, like the Vancouver, downtown Vancouver scene is, you know, there's a lot of like... Shredded. Yeah, shredded. And it's people. a male dominant certain hours, I'll just say it from a certain community or whatnot, which is great, but you know, for me, I, I, I like to check out. <laughs> That's yeah. also like we'll see. I got yeah, whatever yeah. motivates you to do your workout. <laughs> I got some guys on the inside, so sure they'll just let me know. They'll they'll canvas the yeah. They'll canvas the land and let me know. Um, you know, but then yeah, then like I love I like that gym because like the sauna. I got like two different sauna options which you can't use. So like I think I was like leaning towards you know as I get older, I'm I'm really into more the regeneration component of it, and like you know sometimes I like do thirty minutes of yeah. of sauna. So that's taken that's taken away. Um, we do have the Fairmont, though, so they have a sauna. I think yeah. it should be open, I think, I hope. Honestly, I don't know yet, but we'll see. Do I, think, I, I think it will be. Do I just get one of those shitty sauna suits from Everlast and just try to... Well, I suspect it would be open, but, like, you know, who knows? Um, but we'll see what happens also, because with the gyms, it's still hard to control everybody following the rules. So, like, it, they're all going to be opening up, but they might close like if, if a couple people aren't following the rules or get banned or whatever. Well, that's the thing too, right? What did I what did I hear? Like if if like they'll, they'll have like almost like LC expect they'll have inspectors popping by your random inspections. You know how they'll find yeah. them. Well, he is loud. Uh, <laughs> like fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. Right. So the businesses are taking it seriously. I know. Also, Gold has a temperature gun. Every person has to meet a certain temperature. And then a taser if you don't. Yeah, and then a taser. <laughs> but. Uh, It'll be super interesting. Um, God, well, like, do you take your pre-workout after? I'd like to see that. Like, what are the effects on, like, that, I, was, I was saying that. I was like, what is the temperature? Because I don't know what my normal temperature is now. So we'll see, because I take my pre... I'm already running hot. Anybody that has any kind of muscle on you, you run warmer than the average. Oh, yeah. And, like, any girl I've ever dated... Like, I lift like, one weight and I'm sweating. Yeah. Like, they like, <laughs> just snuggle next to me and, like, oh, you're so warm. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, I run a little hot already, right? Through, like, three coffees and some, like, C4 in the mix and... Yeah, I'm so like going, I'm traveling through time. So. We'll, we'll see if we're allowed in the gym. Uh, yeah, right. But uh, I know it's been a really positive experience. We only get open for a couple of days in our private studios, um, and it's been amazing because people are just like they like that there's a restriction. They like that they get the full attention. They like that there's only adults kind of monitoring it because again, if half the people are trainers, half of them are clients. We're all adults, we have to follow the rules or else we're banned, like... Yeah, and I work with a lot of people, but I inherently hate, like, most people in, like, large numbers and <laughs> yeah. stuff, so it's actually been nice to, like... It's actually been really nice having the free reign of, like, things, because it's... Yeah, like, we were there the other day, it was, like, three people? In their busy hour, there was, like, three or four of us, including clients and, and front desk, because yeah. most people don't have... Most people aren't having front desk. I know I talked to uh, the Kairos and physios that we associate with. They're not having front desk, because, like, the whole facility has limited on how many people can have. Yeah. So most of them are getting rid of, unfortunately, there's receptionists and everything. So everything will be up, like private. I got my hair cut the other day, had to wait outside, wear my mask, wait until somebody called me in. Yeah. So I had to follow the pro procedures of cleaning, put on my own different special uniform. Like, it was, it was interesting. And it's so weird talking to people when you're both wearing a mask and also the mask muffles what you're trying to say. It's <laughs> like, Go I ahead. usually try to read lips too. I'm not deaf, but like, uh, like certain tones that either my brain ignores or I don't yeah, know. Yeah, right? Imagine how dates are going to be, right? Like, I don't know, I, I, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, patios and restaurants finally opened up. I went out on Friday and you and I went to local and I went, I went for lunch later and that was just kind of a weird scene. I, I mean, like, no, I respect the health part, but then it's just like going to some of those restaurants where like, you know, part of the, the mission objective is to hire like attractive females, yeah. but then they're just covered with like the mask almost. Like, it felt like that scene in the movie 300, you know, where like the weird humpback Oh, yeah. Comes in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's what that was me because I've been sitting on the couch for like ten fucking weeks and then like go in there and she's got this it's like gorgeous thing up, but she's got this mask on, like waiting for her to like take it off. I'm like, you know, but, but um you know it's a different experience. I don't think I'm gonna eat out the restaurants was Yeah, I'm still not gonna well, okay. Service was bad. If there's patios outside, like so the city luckily is saying that they're gonna allow they're gonna close some streets and allow the restaurants to have their patio on the street instead of having cars. That I would check out because I like being outdoors, fresh air, less chance of getting sick because it's kind of like peeing in the ocean. 
<laughs> yeah, versus like yeah, like, like with coronavirus, I mean, and stuff like that. So like the chances of actually being outside and getting sick are very very low, is what uh, the health experts are saying. So yeah, it's just be interesting things to see, right? Because like I know where the circumstances here, it's just like you know some of the major gyms that were operating in, in our city and our province closed down. They had a large amount of members, but then you have this weird Frankenstein version of the gym, and I think that's one of my issues too. They're not lowering the price. That's, on it. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking too. Like, before you had unlimited access, all these things. Now you don't have any of those things, and you have very minimal access, and you have to pay the same price. Yeah. So that's why our, I think honestly that's where we got lucky just in the last even couple of days. Like people just repeatedly phoning and booking with us, and probably I assume canceling. Honestly, their membership. Yeah. If it's restricted so much, why wouldn't you just hire a trainer? Then? Yeah, no, for sure. I don't know. Like, <laughs> what, like going back to Equinox can be weird, right? Because it's, it's like, it's like kind of like it's like the hottest chick in the room. And I used to date her like a long time ago, and then we hope we're gonna hook up again. But like, she's gained thirty pounds, and she's maybe got a kid now. Like, you know what I mean? It's just this weird version of yeah, what it was. Yeah. But I still have to take her on the same date and that sort of shit with yeah. the price. So like, well, uh, that's, that's my analogy. We'll see how that's gonna go. So I don't know. It'll be super interesting. There's. Lots of things that will have improved and little tweaks that will have to be made over the next six months, year. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah, so anyone who's listening or watching this, it'd be, it'd be awesome if everyone can, um, you know, log into YouTube on our channel, uh, Turn Fit, and uh, under the comments section, you know, let us know exactly, like, you know, what you guys are doing, um, you know, what's your plan, are you going to go back to the gym, you know, what are you happy with? Uh, it'd, be, it'd just be cool to see the response of yeah, people almost I'd, survey stuff. I'd be interested in like knowing what gym you're at right now and what the policies are because you probably got emails and just you don't have to copy and paste but just let us know roughly what it is because I'm curious to see what other gyms are doing. Yeah, yeah no, that's like, I think that's, you know, that was pretty much it for the show today. We just really want to just focus on like more industry specific stuff. We tend to talk about a bunch of different topics, but I think mean, that's like the big, um, you know, thing that's coming up is gyms reopening studios, big box gyms or whatnot. So, like, yeah, I think the biggest thing is I'd like to see anyone every, anyone, and everyone respond, you know, in the comment section, let us know what you're doing. Again, if you have any questions or need to be, like, led the right direction too, not just for personal training, but just for health and fitness, like, we're just here to help anyone yeah, well, too. Yeah, we'll help so. you, even if you're not a client or whatever, we don't, we just want you to get happier and a little bit healthier. Yeah. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube script, subscribe to uh, Spotify. Also. Yeah, yeah, so check us out on Spotify, uh, tune in to Turn Fit, remember to download and listen. Uh, we're also on Podbean, same podcast name, tune in to Turn Fit. Remember to follow. Uh, check us out uh, via YouTube. Uh, we're not only we have the podcast video version, uh, there's how to's, there's our uh, classes, our free classes, classes that are part of our 14 day challenge. Uh, we're soon to be launching, launching the Turn Fit membership through our app and YouTube as well. So you'll get some early access to a lot of the videos that are be coming up. Um, those videos will be you know, definitely, um, you know, fitness component specifics, kettlebell workouts, kettlebell hit, body weight exercises, you know, back to the gym routines as everything's opening up, et cetera, et cetera. Check us out on Facebook at um, TurnFit. There's the public and private group. And last but not least, uh, www.turnfit.ca. Yeah, make sure to just share with your friends and family, help support local business, um, and continue to pay attention because we have lots of tons of free gifts to give away over the course of the year uh, that we'll slowly let you know. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it for today. Yeah, yeah, and then again, anyone looking for, not to be a sales pitch, but anyone looking for in-person training, if you're listening and you're curious, we have three locations, um, one at 909 West Broadway, um, another one deeper on West Broadway, I always forget the address. Uh, 3311 30, uh, West Broadway. Yeah, and then soon to be open June 15th, uh, we are back at the Fairmont Hotel Vancouver Gym and Spa. Yeah, 900 West Georgia. 900 West Georgia. Yeah, so, yeah, hit us up. Um, again, currently we're doing some video assessment calls just to assess your goals and we'll honestly tell you if we're not a right fit. But if you are a right fit, the benefit is that even if you're only training with one of us, you get a whole team and all our knowledge together. So Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Alright. Thanks for listening everyone. Later. Out. Seacrest out. <laughs> yeah. I just I just stopped it. I